Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and uh, welcome back to the next review um, from the next episode of uh, Yashihime episode 11, uh, The Curse of the Man-Eating Pond. <clears throat> now, now um, for this episode of The Curse of the Man-Eating Pond, I liked it. Um, I would say it's not one of the, um, it's not... It's, it's not one of my best. It's not one of the to me. It's not one of the best episodes though. But there's stuff in it that I I liked, um, which I'll explain though. But uh, but I think it's um a, 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 pretty, a pretty decent episode though. It's not one of my favorites though, but it's de it's decent enough. I still and I still liked it. Now, um, really quick though, um, uh, usually I sometimes I talk uh, about the preview. The, the next episode though but uh, I think I'll do that on a set on a separate video I think I would because there's stuff that I like to explain on the, on the next uh, on the next episode though but I'll get to that though if I, I want to do that on the next video but I toss around this episode right now but so the curse of the manning pond it, 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 um, it opens up with our trio Moha, Toa, and Setsuna um uh Cessna, she's play, she's playing her violin. She's playing that she's playing the violin um, that was given by um, <clears throat> um, by uh, S uh, Sota's uh, wife. Um, she's playing it, and while Moha, she's cooking pan she's cooking pancakes, and uh, she's fascinated. Oh, why this is why is this turn? Why is this, why is it burning? You know, it's like turning dark, right? And she's fascinated about how 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 this thing cooks. You know those those, those portable uh, flammable um, stove tops. <clears throat> you know like those like the stove tops you bring uh, camping. You know, and she's making pancakes and she wants to ch and she shoves all like three of the big pancakes all in her mouth. Who wants to just check for po check for poisoning, right? <laughs> and it, like I said, like I said Morha is definitely the, the, the definitely the big the, the big comic relief in this series, and <laughs> she shoves all in her mouth and all of a sudden she starts choking. And she sees a pond. She was like, get a drink of water to, to, to drink it down with. So she starts running. You know, water, water. But, um, tell us that they know, they know that, 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 that pond water is like dirty. You drink it, get a stomach ache. And, um, but so, so, to, stop, uh, stops her, um, she slams her down. And she's like, oh, she actually feels all, feels all better. <laughs> And then Toa, uh, not Toa, Moha, she sees a bird flying by, and then the waters comes up and just eats it. And they explain, she explains to the two, to, to the twins, but uh, they think that she, um, is crazy, you know. And so they go, so they, they head there, they start walking back while Moha's like, go back to the, you know, to visit, uh, Jupy, uh, Jupy, you know, the corpse dealer. And... And you get, you get when it comes to, it comes to her of uh, Morha, like she's like cleaning um the place with a tight tight Takichio, the rac, young raccoon dog, you know, until at the corpse well the corpse dog's not there though, but he's there. It's like oh you miss you miss a spot. This whole place needs to be cleaned, and you know to pay off all those uh, uh advances that Morha owed, I guess. Although. It was, uh, although it was kind of fun, although it was saying that Moha, you know, well, well, if it was Inuyasha, uh, he wouldn't take that from nobody, you know, you know, tell him to tell him what to do, you know. If it, if it was Inu, if it was Inuyasha, he was like, oh, he's like, oh, we we just shut your trap and all that. He wouldn't uh, like take that from nobody. But this is Moha, so like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm sorry and all that. Well, like like when like Takeshi like makes himself makes himself bigger than her, you know, and. But I was like, if it was any, it was if it was any Asha, he just go and pits him right on the head for that, like he did, like he did how he do for Shippo. But uh, and then the, the and then back with the twins, Toa and Setsuna, um, they see uh these two kids, especially the, this older brother. He's running to the, the pond because he wants to avenge his parents' death because that pond. It turns out it, there's a demon in there. And which um, they explain and turns and which they go back to the grandma's house. Um, they're living with their grandma and saying that uh, Moro was right. And of course, that the, the man, uh, man, something in that pond. It, it used to be crystal, so crystal clear, but now 
a demon has moved into there and is swallow anything that comes near the pond. And they said the grandmother explained there was a sage there used to purify that place, keep it purified with these herbs, these medicinal herbs. Um, but I said how it ate, ate those those kids' parents, and because uh, and uh, even the little girl sees the the, the, the instrument that uh, Setsuna has the violin. That it says oh it's similar to something that their father used to play. So Setsuna has um has a play a play a tune of that. Although I will have to say though, uh, I, will, I will I will have to say though that she plays the same tune again. I mean I know that that that, that, that uh, the song that she does for on the violin is not is a is a pretty de- is a pretty uh, decent uh, tune though. But I mean, we saw her play back when she we saw her playing it in the future in the back in the present. When we saw her uh, play played earlier in the opening of this episode and she's playing the same tune again. I, I, I think I wish she would I wish she would just notice play a, a different kind of tune you know, since she like mastered the whole thing within a short period of time. I wish she would just play a different tune instead of keep on playing the same type of note over. But that's a nitpick though, but I'm saying I'm just saying what, what she could just play a, a different kind of note, you know, so but um she plays it to the the kids are fascinated and the little girl starts crying. Um and then later, than, later on the night, when because um, of course Sensuna can't sleep, so <clears throat> and he had a moment where the uh, Torah is out there, you know, sitting next to them, you're know, talking, and <laughs> and then you you, you get a, a a funny moment where you know how back when they were little kids and before that forest fire, how they used to like lean on each other, you know, as sisters, right? Well, Torah here she tries like to lean on her sister, but then Sensuna she does like a back somersault as she as Tora falls down, is like. Hey, you don't get close like it's like you know me and Tog Tog is a little like <laughs> I mean I know that the Toa knows that her, that's a sister though, but I just but this but Cessna still it takes time to think that she still tries to uh, um absorb, you know, that, that it's hard to buy that she is that's her sister, even because she has no memories. So it's like, you know, it's like saying like they're complete strangers, which is understandable though. But, but, but she, but even though like I said, she has no memory, so she sees her so as a, a still as a stranger. It's just hard to her. It's hard for her to. It's going too fast again. But it's she. I'm trying to say it's hard for her. To, she's trying to hard. It's hard for her to accept that it's her sister. But we know we, we but we all know and Toa knows that's her sister. But it's the best. It was still a funny moment though. Like she tried to get to guys tries to get close to her, she pushes her away, you know. But that that was a funny moment. She tries to lean against her, she goes a backwards somersault, and just when she falls down, that is that is a funny moment right there. And it's also more it's it's more on the how more on the on these two are than no more on this episode though, more on these two here. And then the next day they go there to confront the 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 demon. <clears throat> Which is quote which is the man which is the man eating pond, um, which is actually there's two demons though. One is the is this venom is this venom sn- serpent, and actually the other demon is the water itself called drifting pond. <clears throat> now really enough, <clears throat> these two demons is actually this is actually a demon that was um, that was in the manga, um, which was not um, added. Which this demon. W- is in the was in the original manga though, but it was not it was never added into the the previous show of Inuyasha. So that 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 demon was in the manga of Inuyasha though, but that never got a- adapted into the anime of the show of Inuyasha. So that's why they, they put this in here in this series. So it's a little good to, it's a little good to know. So this demon was it's not like they just came up with a fly. No, this is this demon was actually in the manga series that. Um, Inuyasha fought in the manga, but that was not like I said. It's not was not never in put it into the anime of the first show. So they so you have so they have, they put it in here. So okay. So and you get a, like a, you get a, like another cool um, I would say like a kind of like a cool reference though like a, a reference to Sashom to to Lord Sashomaru. Show how, of course, they are. The, we know that they're the daughters of, of Lord Sashomaru, though. But in, in an interesting, interesting way, because one, um, like the venom serpent, it spews out this purple mist, like it affect. It, it's like a poison, 
And it, if it affects Asesuna, but it does not affect Toa. And but and then the then the drifting pond, it drifts like like this acid type of rain, which it does not affect um, Setsuna, but it affects Toa. So it shows that these two here are being happy as though, but they are they do have like different kind of they do have like I forgot I forgot to mention that Mioga is in this as well to explain more. He because uh, uh, she's with uh, he's with uh, Moha watching and uh, what she basically says uh, she says on the fight she gets pushed back into the herbs but she doesn't uh, fight this up though but Mio goes over to explain that these two that that Cessna and Toa they are able to resist certain poisonings like said like Toa is not affected by the purple mist by this venom serpent but Cessna is and then Cessna is not affected by the like the ass type rain but Toa is. And when I mentioned the, the, the reference, so they, they can resist certain poisons, which that makes the reference to uh, Lords of Shomaru because remember in when uh, back in the previous show, Lords of Shomaru when he was uh, um, confronting one of the members of the Band of Seven, the the Poison Master, I forget which one would, uh, the name of the po the Poison Master was, but he was one of the members of the Band of Seven, and how. The guy just kept on black, kept on blasting Sashomo with all these different kinds of poisons, and just so Sashomo just stands there like it was nothing to him. So he's able to hide. He's highly resistant to these poisons, and the guy and he just goes and destroys that guy like nothing. So you get you get you know, a nice little reference to that. So it shows that you know they are the daughters of Lord Sashomo, so they can be able to resist certain poisons to each other. So just like Sashomaru did with a poison master, he was able to resist those poisons like it's nothing. So you did you get a nice reference of of of, of Sashomaru. So that was another that was a cool reference for that. Um. So and also the thing is though, um, one thing I would probably probably say probably get mad at that Toei doesn't do much of the fighting in this. It's more Assassina once again, like how she did, how she did more of the fighting in the previous episode dealing with you know with the, the twins Ginta and Kinta. And uh, the, the the tribe leader, like Sessa, like Toa didn't do much. He just she just stood there watched her fight. Here Toa doesn't pretty much do, doesn't do anything again. It's basically Sessa once again because she knows the, about the about the about she remembers about the herbs and all that. So she uses her cyclone wave to use that to use her wind and use the herbs to purify the demons. <clears throat> and while Sessa does get like like um. I thought with Toa that did get the Toa get the final blow on the serp on the the venom serpent one I do believe I, I forget it, but and I liked how I liked how Sessa and I liked how she how she controlled her cyclone burst and did divert it into the um from, uh, to the drifting pond and but I'm sure a lot of people some people people mad that how Toa didn't do much in this again it was more mostly of Sessuna. so but um with that though the warg the demons got got um. Got got defeated and the water was purified again. It's now crystal clean. And and after that, they say goodbye to the to the kids and the grandmother, and they head their merry way. And it has a last shot of the like the bottom of the sea, which originally had bones in it, but it showed the bottom of the the pond had that the instrument that those kids uh, kids father had down there. So. So yeah, so the, the Curse of the Man Eating Pond, I liked it. It's not one of my favorite episodes though, but like so you get a cool couple references. Like I said, dealing with the the, the twins, they were dealing with certain kinds of poisons, which which reference of of, of Sashomaru, how he was able to risk the poison. Like what I said, we with the band, with the member of the band of seven, how with the poison master with that. And like I said it was nice, it's cool to say that this demon was a reference from the original manga that was not put into the first show, so that was in here. And like more with Moha. Uh, funny with, with, with her um, cooking pancakes and almost choking, you know. <laughs> and but um, and like I said, with the, mo the moments with like with to Toa says, you know how Toa tried to get close with her sister, but she just goes and moves away from her. So you get a, 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 a nice uh, mixture of different personalities of of the three personalities of this episode, and it was nice. But uh, so it was not my favorite though, but um. I think the episode of dealing with you know with the twins Kinta and Kinta because that was more of dealing with how their those those two demons are because they're siblings. It's more like referencing both the siblings of Sisson and Toa. 
I do think that episode is better than this one, though. But I still like this episode, though. So, um, with that said, um, I do think, um, I do like this episode. So, I'd give, yeah, it's, it's decent and worth for one thumb up, I would say. Decent enough. Now, with it, with the, now, with the next episode, with the next episode, I'll talk about, because I feel like I want to talk about more about the preview. So, I'll get to that probably in the next video. So, but, but this one here, the Curse of the Manning Pond, I liked it. I said, get more on the, on the personalities of, of the trio, um, like some funny moments and some ref some oh, a reference as well. So it was a, it was not it was a, it was it was a decent episode of this one. But thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Later.